Yo, what's up guys? This is Gangsta Jabs, and I'm gonna do how to be OP with Tangu. So Tangu is definitely one of the top five best mechs in the game. He's insanely good against rocket mortars. Everybody's using rocket mortars now since so the new legendary rocket mortar pilots coming out. So he's gonna be OP. So pretty much you can be invulnerable to to rocket mortars if you're good at dodging them so you can actually dodge rocket mortars with tango all you do is when the rocket mortar is about to come down you jump sideways with your tango and you'll take zero damage so this requires a lot of practice but i'm going to show you how to do it hey so i'm going to have my homie heat chaos fire mortars at me so you can i can show you how to dodge mortars with tango so this guy has a Stack mortars. He got the legendary radius max, legendary damage max, and the ability cooldown. So let's see it. So check this out. Even if there's five mortars at you, they can't touch your tank. Look at this. You wait for it to move, and then you you jump. But let's say I'm trying to. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. But let's say I'm getting the center, and he's on me. Look at that, no damage. Okay, I did take some damage. But look, he's gonna fire mortars at me, right? Oof. Okay, okay, I, I messed up the timing. Ah, Let's go. He's taking him five shots and still can't kill me. He has a legendary damage implant and he still can't kill me. Are you sure about that? Ah, I hit the wall. But see, you, you, you can see that. He's freaking insane against mortars. Okay, so as you saw in the video, the ability cooldown is really important. Without the ability cooldown, I wouldn't have been able to dodge those mortars. So what you gotta do with the tank is you gotta be super sneaky and make sure you get their eyes off you and stay away from those surges. And you gotta go... You gotta go close to people. Close up, he's super deadly. Okay, he has a stalker right there, and I have to make sure I don't get splashed. And and you gotta really watch out against surges. Okay, so and you and the, the, and don't sh don't engage with people from far away. They're gonna out DPS you. Shotguns don't do much damage from far away. You gotta get within 30 meters. So what you gotta do? You can just wait. Okay, watch out for the discs. Ah! Okay, okay, you got me. Okay, I can't let these losers beat me. I gotta go sweat mode with my Panther with disc 16. Sweat mode activated. Okay, easy kill. Also, another thing is you do not want to start off with Tengu because the most people, uh, especially in CPC, they start out with Surge and Surge completely counters Surge Surge completely counters Tangu. So you gotta really Three, watch out two, for Surge. If there's a Surge, you and they get an iron, you gotta run the other direction as fast as you can, or else they're gonna easily dash at you and you have nothing you can do against them. So use Tangu as like your third or fourth mech. He has a search, he has a search, he has a search. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, nice, my teammate clutched up. Oh, he, so he used his jump, now he's dead. Yeah, so you used Hangu as like your thir second, third, or fourth mech. You don't want to use him first, and using him second is risky because some people might have their. Oh. Ah, I messed up there. You gotta make sure you see what mech they have before you push. If it's any mech other than Guardian, uh, Guardian, Surge, and Zephyr, then, then, and you're within 40 meters, you you probably kill them. It's ideal to have a legendary pilot on Tango because four implants is so useful. So I would have the ability cooldown, uh, the the shotgun range, and then shotgun. Re uh, shotgun damage. The fourth implant can either be uh, a, a, a tangle implant or it can be a shotgun reload. 
So, hope you enjoyed the video and see ya.